this worksheet here. Okay, the homework portion is right there where I put HW. Use the quadratic equation if necessary, round answer to the nearest hundred. Um, we leave it all in radical form, guys. Only for word problems. Otherwise, we leave it all in radical form. Do not change it, but leave it in radical form. I think the book only gives me, the book I have only gives me in decimal. So what you do is for each one you put x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, x equals negative b, which is six, negative 16 plus or minus square root of 16 squared minus 4 times a, which is 5, and times c, which is 84 all over 2 times 5, which is 10, right? So we got x equals negative 16 plus or minus. 16 squared is um, 265 minus 4. Oh, that's a negative 64, 84, by the way. That's a minus, so that's a negative. Um, four times, that makes it positive. Five times 84, you get plus a positive 1,680. We add that to 265, we get um, over 10. So x equals negative 16 plus or minus. Um, the square root of, let's see if it's a perfect square, which was, oh, oh, I didn't write it down. Oh, 680 plus um, 265. That's square root of 1945. Okay, square root of 1945. Uh oh. It is not a perfect square. Okay, let's factor it out. For sure by 5, right? 1, 9, 4, 5 divided by 5. Um, 3, 8, 9. Okay, divided by, that's 11, that's 20. No, not two. Can't be two. Three. Three eighty-nine divided by three. No, it add up to twenty. So it's not gonna work. Four. Three eighty-nine divided by four. No. Six. No. Six is two and three. Seven. No. Eight. Don't think so. Nine won't work. Ten, eleven, no, probably not. Twelve. Okay, we leave it like that as our answer. Oh, look, we can reduce this. So x equals to negative um, eight over five plus or minus the square root of 195 over 10. Hmm. I hope I did everything right. Oh, probably wrong, because look at this. 16 times 16 is not that. It's 256. Oh my gosh. Add that to one six eight zero. What? Let's see. This calculator is not good. Okay. One 
Okay, now we can find the square root of that. 1,936. 44! Goodness gracious. All right, so that's 44. Negative 16 plus or minus 44 over 10. Okay. So what this means is x equals negative 16 plus 44 over 10 or negative 16 minus 44 over 10. Well, let's see. 44 minus 16 is oh no, no. 28. Over 10, which is um, divide by 2, we get 24 over 5. Um, this one we get, um, okay, we get negative 60 over 10, which is negative 6. That's the answer. Wow, I took up a lot of room, huh? So this is um, x squared plus 47x equals to negative 30. So add 30, right? Okay, and then um, you solve that. Let me go through my end. I'm not going to do every single one of these, okay? Because uh, I'm going to just get the answer sheet. I don't like the book because the book um, changed around it to the nearest tenth. And I want you guys using radicals and simplifying radicals, etc., etc. So, um, okay, number four is not going to be a perfect square. Um, look like it. All right. Because 2 and 30, 15. Nothing going to make it, so it's going to be an irrational, not a perfect square. Okay, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, x equals to negative b, which is negative 47 plus or minus the square root. 47 squared, we're going to sh shorten this. 47 squared is 2,209 minus 4 times A times C. Okay, 4 times 30, 120, all over 2A. 2 times 1. So we got x equals negative 47 plus or minus square root of 2209 minus 120 all over 2. So we get um, x equals negative 47 plus or minus the square root of 289 divided by 2. See if that is a perfect square, 2089. It is not a perfect square. Okay. Square root of 2089, add it, you get 19, no, 3 doesn't work, 2 doesn't work, 4, five, six won't work, 7, No, nope. so that's our answer. Okay, um, 
number six. Oh, the answer for number six is negative four and negative nine. Okay, number eight is 13 and negative 8.5. Um, number 10, oh, it's not a perfect square. You guys should know how to do this. Um, can't do every single one of them. So if you have any question, ask me. Okay, this one goes along, we'll be on your test, round to the nearest tenth of a second. So I'll do number 16. It's going to be on your test. Okay, um, a ball tossed upward with a velocity of 10 um, feet per second from a height of 3. Substitute, let H go to 0 because, all right, 0 equals negative 16 t squared plus 10 t plus 3. Zero because it's it's when it hits the ground. If it's not caught, how long will it take the ball to be in the air? Round to the nearest tenth. Okay. To do that, we do um, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. b squared is 100 minus 4 times negative 16 times 3 all over 2 times negative 16. Okay, you do that. Um, I'm going to do this all at once. One eight one hundred. God, man. One hundred minus. It's going to be a plus. Two negatives. Four times sixteen. Times three. Two ninety two. I don't think that's a perfect square. X equals negative ten plus or minus square root of two ninety two all over negative 32. Not a perfect square. So this is rounded to the nearest tenth. So that is equals to negative 10 plus or minus 17 point, what did it say round to? The nearest hundred? Tenth of a second, okay. So it'll be 17.1 all over negative 32. All righty. Okay. Um, if we do a plus, we get a negative answer. So that's irrelevant. So what I mean by that is if we do a plus negative 10 plus 17.1 over negative 32, you get a um, positive 7.1 over negative 32. You'll get a negative, um, we're solving for t in this case, not x. Oops. We'll get a negative time, and that won't work. So be useless. So we're going to know our answer is going to be um, the time will be negative 10 minus 17.1 divided by negative 32. So we got um, negative 27.1 divided by negative 32. The ball will be up in the air for eight point, round to the nearest tenth, eight point 
Yeah, 0 0.8 seconds. Okay. And that's it.